Hey, Michelle. Seth. What's going on? What's going on? Guess what? What? Did we get an email? We got an email. Email. Boo do 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 do. Email. Email. We got an email from Greg. Okay. One of my favorite guys. What's his? Uh, is he on Twitter? Like, what's his full name? Greg in the pocket. Oh my god. Not Greg in the pocket. I know you love that. I really do. <laughs> Which I do too. Like it, it, it's, it's just, just so good. good. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Though. You know, and I can't. I don't want it explained. Same because yeah. I'm thinking some naughty things, and I don't want to think naughty things. I, I wasn't thinking. I was thinking sports things. Sports. Don't you say okay if? Don't you say like he's in the pocket? I thought two things like okay. a shrunken down little dude just being like hey I'm in your pocket that's what I hope it is and yeah. then also like you know yeah 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 Yeah. no like okay if a sports guy if a sports man a sports man or sports <laughs> a commentator no an athlete no a sports person an athlete if an athlete is like good in that uh -huh. moment right they call it don't you say pocket? like he's in the pocket i yeah. have no idea but then hey. there's also like oh that's out of pocket like when someone's saying when someone's being rude or mean isn't it i always thought like well like with insurance purposes we'll pay out of pocket <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay that's true too so greg's okay. in the pocket greg in the pocket greg in the pocket by the way how I how I hope that it is and why I don't want it to be any different is I hope that it is the little shrunken down person and it's just like like a TV show yeah like an old like Nickelodeon show yes Greg like, in the pocket da, 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 da. and then it's just like Greg in the pocket and it zooms in on someone's like breast pocket and he's like I agree it out. let's yeah. just keep it like that Greg in the pocket anyway yeah Greg sent an email. email okay <laughs> And in it, he said, hey, Seth and Michelle, hope you're doing well. Thank you. We are. Thanks, Greg. I think so, right? I mean. I mean, I'm like generally depressed. and Yeah, and I broke my ribs, so I'm there's not a the lot greatest. But Greg doesn't need to know that. Life. <laughs> it doesn't need to know that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Today, I'm doing well. I can say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I feel good. Good. I got my sparkling ice. There you go. Do you drink sparkling ice? No. Oh my God, they're the best. Yeah, I don't know. Isn't there like, I mean, no judgments, of course, but isn't it like fake sure. sugars and stuff? Oh, it says zero sugar, all the flavor. Yeah, but isn't it like aspartame? Vitamins and antioxidants. What am I looking for here? The ingredients. potassium benzoate anyway i love them but i'm doing yeah. good thank you greg thank you greg what are some movies that you associate with summertime either mm. taking place during summer fun to watch during summer or maybe just feel right on a hot day i have strong memories of watching talladega nights the ballad of ricky bobby as a kid in my basement that movie has made me cry tears from laughing so much same have you seen that? I haven't. No. Oh. I also remember watching on VHS Purple Rain, Pulp Fiction, Batman 1989, and Jim Carrey's The Mask. Have you seen any of those? Yes, of course. Pulp Fiction mm -hmm. was my dad's favorite. And Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I did a report in that in, in college. Uh, and The Wait. Mask. What? Wait, hold up. You did a what? A report? A report? On Pulp Fiction? On Pulp Fiction? Mm -hmm. In film class. Every week, you're like, I'm not a movie guy. And then you're just whipping out all this movie guy stuff. Like last week, or a couple weeks ago, you casually were like, oh yeah, one time me and my friend were going through like the top 100 movies oh, yeah. of all time. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think that's a movie guy thing? I mean, like I've said, I went to school for TV and film. So, right. 
So how do you not like you? I don't get you. You don't have to. We're talking about summer that's movies. True. That's true. That's a great response to that. You don't have to get me. I'm not yeah. asking you to. Right. It's not Michelle in the pocket. <sighs> Although sometimes Ant says he wishes he could drink me down so I could just like go in a pocket. Oh. I know. Because he wants to take you with him? Yeah, take me around. I would be a great pocket accessory, I'm just saying. Like we are getting off course here, but like we still just we should still talk about being in pockets. Because I would be like your biggest cheerleader. Interesting. Unless you were like nasty to me and like smothering me and stuff, but I don't yeah, think you all ever I had me would do that. Being shrunk down in a pocket would be like accidentally going through the dryer. <gasps> like I'm just imagining myself oh my like really tumbling a lot in a pocket. Pocket size is very, there's a fine line where you're riding in the pocket, right? Like your arms are up and you're riding along, you can see out or pocket size where you're like, what's going on out there guys? You know what I mean? I think I'm you can't be too small. A, like a confident pocketer. Okay, like you would size, feel fine. Yeah, like the size of a thumb, I think. Like not, yeah. not Polly Pocket. She was so. Polly Pocket was too small. She no. that stuff was you couldn't play with that. No, well, I did. But okay. Yeah, but like, you know, just a smaller version. Anyway, summer movies. So Pulp Fiction was your dad's favorite. It was my dad's favorite. I had it on VHS. Yeah. You did a report. Do you have this report? No, I had to give like a. It was like an oral report, and so oh, I like okay. showed clips and. I don't even remember. And then I also did a report on. Did you dress up? No. But I, my dad and I used to do like you know, the dance. Oh sure. Yeah, of course. Who yeah. doesn't do that, right? Of course, me. Yeah. Well. Right. I've never done it once in my life. You're lying. Hey. Do it now. Maybe. No, I will not. What is I wrong will with not. you? Uh, the mask. I love the mask. The mask. Jim carries the mask. I don't love the mask. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I say that way too much to you. Doesn't surprise me. I'm not a very surprising person. I'm pretty much, I'm very consistent. Yeah, I mean, I am. Someone, I, am. I did one of those like anonymous, like ask me anonymous questions. Did you guess Twitter my thing. question? No. I, I, sent two, qu I sent two questions. What was your question? Guess. I sent two. I don't remember. Were you the Penny Charlie Charlie's no. boat? No, oh. no, no, no. What's a weird question? No. Do you like the questions you've gotten so far? No. Oh man. I don't care about that. What kind of question is that? How do I know if I've pissed Osepi nope. off? Nope. Damn. Raw or cooked broccoli? Yeah. Okay. I was Did you really like my answer. I was really hungry when I sent that. Oh my God. So. <laughs> <laughs> was the other one? How are you? <laughs> no. No. Okay. What was the other one? The other one was write a haiku about Shrek. Come okay. on, that had me written all okay. over. Yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. yeah. Why was I saying that? Someone said, what is a movie that we would be surprised that you like? Mm -hmm. And I feel like none. Like, what What? What am I going to, you know? I said, like, Clueless. I like the Marvel movies. Sometimes mm -hmm. people think. But I don't know. I like all movies. Yeah. Because he's a movie yeah. guy. Except for Paddington. Anyway. Anyway, Greg in the Pocket wants to know our summer said, movies. But wait, but he said. Oh, there's more. I hope that this can sprout some good discussion for the show. And it did. Oh, I hope we have to send this to Greg in the Pocket. Oh, we will. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, then he says, Greg, a.k.a. Greg in the Pocket. Oh, online. my God. He signed it. Greg in the Greg, a.k.a. Greg in the Pocket. Yeah. He said his last name, but I'm not going to say it. No. 
Wow. I want you to find him. Oh my God. Do you think he's following me? Is he Greg in the pocket on Twitter? Yeah. I discovered someone else was following me that is a listener. And I was like, oh my God, I'm really bad. Michelle's not the He does most... follow me. Greg in the pocket follows me. Don't you feel honored? Wow. Are you going to follow him back? Of course I am. Here we go. And follow back. You know what would be funny? If you were like, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> Why would I not follow Greg in the pocket? I like Greg because he uh, cooks. Okay. Like he makes food. Mm -hmm. He's been chronicling his new mi mixer. That's cool. Like yeah. my whole Twitter is just film Twitter and it's just you and your friends. Well, that's my whole thing too. Yeah, but that's your place, not mine. I don't even. I, mean, I, I used no to be identity. joke, joke Twitter. That was. I my... remember that you were like you would throw all out. All I some did was joke bits. Yeah. Yeah, that was all that I used it for for yeah. a good ten years. Wow. Like if you go way, which don't do this, but like if you go way back, it's all just like one-liner jokes that I would write because I didn't want to lose them. Like I, a joke would occur to me, and like, oh, this is too good. And if you go back, none of them are good. So let me not write it down, but let me put it in on Twitter. Right. Because I didn't like, I never used any social media as a way to like meet people. It was only people I knew like mm -hmm. in IRL, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I was like doing these film projects, like my thousand movie watch through last year. I was like, I want to talk to people about these movies, but I'm watching stuff from like Scandinavia and like 1940 and, you know, stuff that I've never heard of. So that's when I started kind of like reaching out. Um, why was I saying that? Oh yeah. My whole Twitter is just movie stuff too. There was a brief time. I don't know if you remember when I changed to elephant Twitter. Yes, I do remember that. Oh, I was a big fan of elephant Twitter. I was like, by the way, this is an elephant Twitter now. And like, I changed my profile picture and like description. And I just was like tweeting facts about elephants and like stuff that I thought about elephants. And I was commenting, like I would just search on Twitter, like elephant. And I would go on and like comment on all these random people's things like, hey, don't say that about elephants. And they would respond very earnestly. And it made me feel so bad because I don't really do like trolly things. Yeah. Like that was the most trolly thing I ever did. I was real. I was a really big fan of Elephant Twitter. I remember, I feel like Krista like sent me a message and was like, Seth, what is wrong with you? Like, why yeah. did you, what yeah. is this whole elephant thing? And I think I even asked her like, what's up with Seth and this elephant situation? <laughs> what are we I doing? I finally snapped. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Um, Okay. Summertime. Summertime. What are you yeah. watching? This is a hard question for me. Well, you go first. Okay. So the first movie that comes to mind is Camp Nowhere. Yeah. That is oh. like my favorite summertime movie. I okay. watched that as okay. a kid at my aunt's, rented it from Blockbuster, Christopher yeah. Lloyd. I was like in love with the kid Mud. He was such a baby, even though he's 12 years old and had long hair. I love Camp uh, He's also great in um, what's the movie where he kidnaps his parents? Did you know. see that one? No. All the kids' parents are like getting divorced and so they like lock them in their basement. Uh, nope. I'll, I'll look it up really quick. And then he also was in the Paper Brigade. Paper Brigade. Did you see that? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Yeah, so Camp Nowhere and then Back to the Future, to me, are like summer That's a jams. Summer movie. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess I didn't really think about um, like movies that take place in the summer. Well, no, no, no. It, uh, that's not why I chose it. I chose it because it reminds me of summer when I was a kid, and I would go to my aunt's and rent the movie at Blockbuster. It just so happens that it took place in the summer. Camp Nowhere. And then Back to the Future, I just love Back to the Future. But for some reason, it makes me want to watch it outside in like a drive-in or like on my house, we project it. It's like a good summertime movie. Got it. 
Okay, so I also have a summer camp movie then. Heavyweights? Mm-hmm. Did I, you ever see Heavyweights? I think that's the one that escaped me. I don't think I've oh, actually seen Heavyweights. It's really... So I was a very chubby kid. Me too. Okay. When... I think I told this... No, I don't think I told this story. Did I tell this story? I don't know. I haven't heard this I had story a best yet. friend growing up. Oh, and me too. she was four years... She was four years older than me Uh and I was homeschooled, right? So I was just at home, but we weren't allowed to go outside during school hours because my mom thought they were going to call the truant officer on us or something like that. So my best friend would get off the bus, drop off her book bag, walk to my house, knock on the door. And from that moment until dinner time or like the lights came on, you know, the streetlights came on we were like outside constantly and then she moved away and when she moved away it was like my first encounter with like despair and depression as a kid I left her house saying goodbye to her she lived next door I walked into my house I remember this vividly sat down in front of my tv and turned on the video game system and like never went outside again And so I suddenly like rapidly gained weight and I was like super skinny like all throughout my childhood because I was like outside and burn all the calories and I just like rapidly gained weight and so my mom god bless her had me do like Richard Simmons like video workouts with her and like (laughs) she would make me like instant carnation shakes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and we would like go on walks together and but I was like pretty overweight for a while um then as a teenager I lost weight and then as an adult I gained weight back but whatever anyway point is I loved heavyweights because it was about a fat camp like it's about fat kids and still as a person who is like overweight people are so weird about jokes and like joking um I feel like we're kind of coming out of even like being able to use the word fat Mm -hmm. you know like for a couple years it was like can't even say that but as someone who finds everything funny and everything about themselves funny I really loved heavyweights I think you should watch it it's really really funny we should watch it for a super amazing film club Ooh, that's a good idea yeah okay we should have Greg in the pocket on Greg in the pocket (laughs) to talk about a summertime movie that's a great that's great Greg in the pocket give us your summertime movie you know one of those yeah. and we'll do that I don't have a follow-up one though do you need a follow-up no I mean a movie on a hot day that I would want to watch would be like the penguins of Madagascar or March of the Penguins yeah like a cold movie yeah yeah okay I'm thinking Clueless too I don't know why. Clueless at any time is great. Right. Mm -hmm. I just feel like because it's like California, it's bright and sunny. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good one too. All right. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Greg, in the pocket. Well, yeah, thanks for the email. And uh, it took a really long time to answer the question. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's okay. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that was fun. Send us questions. Yeah. Hey, if you want to be like Greg in the pocket, <laughs> send us an email. I don't know what this is. You were about to do Pulp Fiction is what you were about no, to do. No, I wasn't. No, You I wasn't. set up. You were ready to do it. Close. Yeah. I almost okay. did it by accident. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to send us an email, moviefriendspodcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. and uh it can be about anything it doesn't have to be about movies michelle would love it if it was about something else yeah, i gotta tell you that been great send michelle a question how about yes. that yes challenge given <laughs> i lost a train of thought it's gone yeah that's okay it's late okay yeah cool but anyway 